Okay, this is Neil Moncrief. This is December 29th, I believe, 2013, and I'm having problems with the uh, continuous uh, glucose monitor. Um, I'm taking this video because this is about the fourth time that I've had problems with. I'm going to turn just a little bit, and you can see that there's some bleeding going on underneath the plastic. That's because I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes trying to retract the needle uh, device. The part that sticks out perpendicular from my body is supposed to be easily removed. However, this one is not. And this happens about a third of the times. And like I said, this isn't a isolated incident. This is the, at least the third, more like the fourth or fifth time this has happened. Uh, both of these boxes contained five of these sensors and I have finished one box and I've got one sensor still in the box and I've got one sensor that's not working properly in my abdomen so that's where I stand right now this one that I'm inserting I'm having problems with I'm about 30 minutes into it right now and I've given up I have been twisting pulling poking and as you can probably see by the color bleeding um, so I've given up. I'm trying to pull this thing out. It's not coming out. Um, my next step is going to be just uh, rip the thing out uh, with the needle um, in place. That's not going to uh, feel very good, I'm sure. Uh, what's supposed to happen is this device goes in uh, using the uh, inserter device. You put your fingers on the base of it with one hand, and uh, the, with the other hand you remove the part that's protruding uh, from the abdomen, the part that's sticking perpendicular to my skin. Uh, however, three, four, maybe five times now, uh, I've had problems. I followed the directions. I mean, I'm, I'm a smart guy. I'm not an idiot. I'm doing this right. Um, but anyway, I'm just documenting this uh, in hopes that it will help the people at Minimed to see just how serious this problem is. Surely there are other people that are having the same problem. Uh, this is not comfortable and I just want to get it out. I am afraid though that it's going to hurt because I've got a needle uh, that's the better part of an inch long. Uh, right now it's uh, stuck down into my skin and I'm going to have to just rip it out. Um, all right. Um, again, I am twisting and it's not releasing. I could get some pliers and twist this but I'm actually afraid if I did that that the plastic would break and I don't want something to uh, um, to happen you know that would actually hurt me worse uh, than this is hurting right now so I just wanted to show you that I am doing everything I can to remove this the proper way. I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, I'm just gonna yank this out and this is hurting like a son of a mmm ah okay well you can see the evidence of the bleeding that was probably more self-inflicted than anything uh, blood running out um, I don't know if there's anything here that that you can see that will shed any light you know on the problem this is terribly uncomfortable and like I said I only had 10 of them to start with and I've had this problem now on roughly half so uh, Neil Moncrief boy I got a gusher going here this is Neil Moncrief in Leesburg Georgia um, I've got to turn this video off now and take care of my abdomen.